Welcome to TagDeep Tutorials. Today we shall explore how to install one of the dozens of pre-built website designs straight from the newspaper theme. Before we get started, make sure that your newspaper theme is up to date, and if not, to update it to the newest version available. When you're done, go to your admin dashboard, newspaper theme, pre-built websites. The page you access will have multiple different and unique website designs you can choose from. Scroll down and preview some of them to see what they would look like on your website. When you find the one that you like, we can proceed with installing it. However, when you install any of them upon hover, you get a check that lets you switch between include content and design only. When you're first starting out and have no posts or articles available on your website yet, it's a good idea to keep the switch on include content as it generates sample posts, categories, and featured images to accompany it so you can see what it would look like. If you already have posts and articles of your own, you need to keep the switch on design only. What this does is it removes the sample content and imports only the templates and pages. The main difference between the two is that if you make any adjustments to the meta descriptions of the articles, to the categories, or even to the posts themselves, when you uninstall the pre-built website or choose to install a different design, you will lose any adjustments you made to the sample content. Let's explore both options. Starting with the design only. As you can see, the website that I have created already has articles and posts of its own. The design only option fits perfectly then. Hit the switch and then click install on the pre-built website you want. Great! Now let's take a look at how my homepage looks like now. All of my posts and articles get the center of attention like this. Let's see what happens when I choose the include content option. Hey, where did all of my articles go? They're still there in your admin dashboard, however, the sample content now takes the front stage of your website. Burying all the original and creative content you have worked so hard on underneath. Let's go back and uninstall the previous website in favor of another one. All you need to do to uninstall is to click on the uninstall button. This is where you can see what previous website you have installed currently. If you're looking to replace the website with another one, you can also forego the uninstallation process entirely and replace it with the one you want, just like this. Great! Let's say you want to take a look at another pre-built website design, but have already made changes to some of the templates and pages. How do you keep the templates and pages while installing a different pre-built website? All you need to do is make copies of them. For pages, you could copy and paste the content into a new page or use the plugin to create a copy of it. For templates, you need to go on the front end where your template appears and look up in the admin bar. Click on the template's name and hover over it in the list that appears. You should see three dots appear. Move your cursor over them, now click on the duplicate template icon, which is in the shape of two pages. Do this for any of the other templates you want to keep. When you're done, all you need to do is install a different pre-built website. Let's say you like how it looks, but still want one of the templates you have created a copy of back. Click on the template's name and then you can find the copy you have made in the list. Now, to make it appear site-wide, just hit the checkbox that appears under the global column. 
Now you can install any of the pre-built websites you want with just a few clicks. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please write to us via our forum or use the email provided in the description box.